Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. It is Saturday, the 7th of August. I hope your weekend is off to a good start. It's still pretty early here, although by the time I get this up and posted, it won't be. Saturday will be well along, I think. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you are getting some good time. I've actually been taking advantage of the last couple of weeks to, uh, to live fallow a bit, which is important gearing up again school starts on monday for my son and there's the online needlework expo at the end of the month so there will be a lot to do but i've really been enjoying just a few weeks of lower lower activity levels and a chance for personal stitching things like that so we do have some fun stuff to go over today i have retreat pieces to show and the last of the new releases for the expo so buckle in and we'll get going. Starting with stitching in action, I actually got a great submission just before I filmed this video, so I'm so excited to include it. This is from, I believe, Galena. I had to rely on Google Translate for the name, so my apologies if I'm doing that wrong. But she did the free baking squirrel download from the website and I just love, I love the way she finished it. I love the frame with all those little baking additions. I love the photograph. Fabulously done, Galena. So thank you so much for sharing that. All right, on to what I'm stitching. With the personal time has come some personal stitching. So I have big progress to show on Pandemic Sampler. I, I don't know if I'm quite in the home stretch, but I'm very close. So you can see here, Let's get that properly in. Yes, making progress. I've just got this little bit of border to do. The house is a big block that's done. I think just initials here, a couple of small elements over there, but that'll be it. And I'm really enjoying making all the substitutions as I do, getting drunk with power. I kept the little fox and squirrel as they were and then changed some of the others to reflect my own animals. I made this more of a swan and a signet. Um, yeah, just a really, really fun stitch, and I'm so enjoying it. I'm going to be so excited when it's all ready to go off for finishing. So, woohoo, personal stitching. Okay, stash spotlight then. I have a couple that I picked up, I believe at least two at the Silver Needle while I was there, and one online. The first one is from the Sweetheart Tree. Be as happy as a bird with a french fry, and that is really quite happy. So, there you go, life goals for this week. Happy as a bird with a french fry. <laughs> the next one is Giving Thanks by The Work Basket. And this one comes with two. I saw the models for these at the Silver Needle. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer view there. I really love the colors, particularly in that top one with those gray greens and bluish tints on that. I might fiddle with it a little bit and do both of them together as one drum, so I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I thought that was really fun. Quick little stitch. Always nice to have those in between the big projects. And then the last one to show today is from Twin Peak Primitives. And this is their 2020 Santa with the cardinals and the awesome little birdhouse that's actually like a brick townhome. But I love that he has a blue coat. I have always been a sucker for blue and green Santa figures. A lot of the glass ornaments that I buy of Santas are the ones that are blue or green or purple rather than red. So that one was a fun one for me. Okay, on to the world around. And this week I have chosen the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, which may seem unusual. I chose it because I have learned in this house that if you are near a certain spot in the yard when the sprinklers start to kick on, that the sprinkler over by the side of the house makes a noise that sounds just like a rattlesnake when it's starting and the pressure and water is starting to move through. So I've had my, my lizard brain kick in pretty hard a couple of times, even though my rational brain can swoop in after and say, it's fine, it's the sprinkler, you're good, <laughs> as I deal with the adrenaline rush <laughs> from thinking there's a rattlesnake in the yard. But they're actually fascinating animals, like so many. They have the distinctive rattle, which is made of the same material as our fingernails. And I had always been told that it grows one new set of rattles every year. That's not apparently true. They do add rattles throughout their lives, but not at a consistent rate. So you can't use that to determine how old they are. They can rattle those, those keratin loops at uh, about 60 rotations per second, which is faster than a lot of hummingbirds beat their wings. 
and I read that they have specially formed scales on their backs so that they can actually harvest and researchers have watched them go out from their burrows in rain or snow and harvest it by collecting all of that moisture on their backs and the scales keep it there so it doesn't slide off and then they can drink from their own backs so they're well suited for this desert environment very fascinating we see we see a fair number of snakes i don't know that i've seen a western diamondback around this house although a lot of the snakes that we see are pieces of snakes left over after some of the many things around here hawks coyotes whatever have killed them rye makes a very strong argument every time that she should be allowed to eat the snake pieces but uh, so far <laughs> i'm trying to resist so lots of snakes Western diamondbacks, very interesting animals. All right, on to questions. I didn't have any questions from anyone this week, so I have a question for you. And it was about rituals. As I've been having some more low-key time, I've, I've leaned hard into some of the rituals that I really enjoy. And of course, stitching is one of them. Walking the dogs first thing in the morning when it's very quiet and just having the time to really appreciate being in nature is a big ritual for me. I have a drink on Friday night when I know I'm all done and it's the last thing in the evening is a ritual for me. Lots of things. So I wanted to hear from you. What are some of your rituals that really matter? Moments, long-term, big rituals, just small small moments that you get that, that mark our time. Yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, best thing this week, I'm going to show the retreat pieces. So these are the ones that were at the Silver Needle. And I had quite a few comments from people. Most people said they wanted to see them. Some said they always feel a little torn because then they see something great that they can't get. So I will tell you first thing that these are all going to be available at the Silver Needle over the next year. So don't worry about not being able to get them. They'll be there. And then I'll release them generally after a year. So the first one and the the key piece that kicked off the whole set is called Stitching Squirrel. So you can see I've got two squirrels there, an older one teaching a, or I guess a bigger one teaching a smaller one to stitch. And you can see that the bigger one is sitting on what's a, an acorn tomato pincushion. And that was inspired by an old faded red pincushion like the ones we all have. And so from there it took off, we've got a little hoop around the edge and they've got their, their stitching and their acorn bobbins and that was the start of it. Now, I will say this was my very first tray finish, so thank you to all of those who've gone before and put wonderful instructions. I ended up buying a bunch of different charts of tray finishes and just reading through all of them to try and figure out how it's done. So this was the first one and it was really easy. I was a little nervous about doing it but if you're worried about doing a tray finish I will say it's really not that bad so there's that one the next one is called acorn basket and you can't really see from the picture but I did the finish for this one as a little needle book and it's got some lovely cappuccino wool from lady dot in the center and then just yeah just a fun little acorns of woven basket almost like a, a longer burger basket style but that was a, a quick little fun one the next one was a drum and it's called gather and stitch it's always hard to show drums in the photos because you can't see the whole way around but you get the idea and so that was just celebrating the fact that we can in fact gather which is such a treat i know we're not out of the woods and we have to be careful but it's nice to even consider being with people again the last one here is called silver needle squirrels and this one will be exclusive to the silver needle um, yeah, forever. So you can get this one. We have two little Jabco buttons and this is a big pin cushion. It's actually, you know, that big as stitched, but just, just squirrel stitching. Again, yeah, I found my theme and I <laughs> stuck with it. So there are the retreat pieces. As I said, will be available. And thanks to everybody from buttons and fabric and wonderful finishing supplies who helped me get through my first official retreat kit production cycle. I really, really appreciate it. All right, on to giveaway. Now, last week, many of you know, I accidentally uploaded initially my unedited video. So it didn't have any of the photos. It didn't have puppy video added, any of the good stuff. So I was going to pick two winners using the keyword joy and those winners could draw from any of, well, any of my designs, certainly any of the new designs that they would like, they could pick one. 
but I chose three because I added an extra one from the people who initially commented on the wrong video <laughs> before I made it private and they couldn't comment anymore. So the first winner is Kristen, now I, I apologize, Bootrup from Denmark. Thank you for joining me, Kristen. I hope you enjoy picking something. Just email me and let me know what you'd like. Next is Linda von Austell. And last is Kim Hill. So all of you, send me an email. Let me know which chart of mine you'd like to have, including the new ones that haven't officially been released. And I will get that in the mail for you. Giveaway this week will be the same again. I'll pick two winners and you can pick any of my designs, including the new ones. And the keyword to use is season. Now on to announcements straight to the new designs. You can see them on the side here for those of you who are eagle-eyed. The first one is called Harvest Magic. This is part of the series, the magic series, and the first one is Garden Magic, next is Spring Magic, and here we have Harvest Magic. And so you can see it's focused on just the fall bounty and we've got an acorn woodpecker there because they store their acorns in trees. It's really pretty incredible to look at. We've got some canning jars there, and this here, this is almost all DMC in the design, but there are three overdides. One of them is this Weeks Salt Glaze, and I chose that because it reminded me of those big pickling crocs. So you can see it's a really heavily variegated floss, and if you don't like that, then pick another color. But that was the sort of the inspiration for that. But we've got pumpkins and apples and blueberries and all sorts of eggplant, cauliflower, turnips, carrots, lots of fun stuff for the fall. So that's the first one, Harvest Magic. The next one is I wanted to have something for Sampler September since Needlework Expo at the end of this month is right before Sampler September. And so I designed a sampler, an official sampler with the alphabet and everything inspired by sort of twilight, darkness falling, animals that are active either in the evening or overnight, plants that bloom in the evening or overnight, all of that. So here, get it right up front and center here. I might put in a, a picture at the end so you can have a proper look. But this is Moonlight Sampler. And you can see there's there's quite a bit. Got an owl and a luna moth. So lots of of moths and plants that bloom at night. Down here where the alphabet is, I mixed in a lot of different nocturnal or evening animals. We've got a sloth, a kiwi, hedgehog, possum and babies, fox and rabbit, a badger, there's my little flying fox, a beaver, all these fireflies around here. This was a really fun one to design. And the quote actually comes from a poem by Sarah Williams. It's a bit confusing to cite because it was published twice under two different names and with slightly different text. I believe once it was published during her lifetime officially and then once it was published by her estate. And so you'll see it with different wordings. I chose the one I liked, but pick the one you like. So that's, that's the one. I had initially charted this on a sort of smoky purple blue um, fabric. But then when I got the biggest piece, it wasn't, it was a little too blue and not enough purple. So we switched over to this. This is 40 count wood smoke by Lakeside, but you'll have a lot of different choices for great fabrics from your shops. So there's that. Now the chart comes with actually two versions for people who don't want to do the whole sampler. Here is just the alphabet and this is charted in there as well. So just the alphabet and the animals, but yeah. So those are the last two of my new releases for Needlework Expo. It is an expo for shops. So shops that have bought from me have already received an email showing the details. And if you're interested in any of these, you can contact them. And if you're the winner for using the word season in the comments that I'll draw next week, you can choose one of them as well. Thank you so much for joining me. It's just puppy video at the end and I'm gonna upload <laughs> the right video once this is all edited and get back to yeah, lying fallow for the rest of the weekend. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will talk to you in two weeks. Bye.